What's up logical people, this is Amar. You are the owner of a banana plantation and you have a camel. You want to transport 3000 bananas to a market which is located at a distance of 1000 kilometers from your plantation. Your camel is used for banana transportation but it can carry a maximum of 1000 bananas at a time. And it eats one banana for every kilometer it travels. What's the maximum number of bananas that can be delivered to the market with the help of the camel? I'd like to thank Surya for sharing this amazing puzzle. I would highly encourage you to pause the video and think logically. The camel can carry a maximum of 1000 bananas, but if it makes only one forward trip to the market, it will eat all 1000 bananas in the trip, so nothing will be delivered to the market. That's why the only possible solution is to have intermediate drop points and make several short trips in between them. All we need is to list down the optimization steps to be followed that are based on common sense or basic intuition. Number 1. The camel should pick up all the bananas from the pickup point even if you need multiple trips. Only then you will get maximum number of bananas in the end. So in this situation where there are 3000 bananas, the camel would need to make 3 forward trips to pick all of them. In this process of transfer, it also needs to make 2 backward trips. So overall there are 5 trips. Optimization step number 2. At the intermediate point, try to keep number of bananas in multiple of 1000. Only that way you'd be able to utilize the trips of camel effectively. For example, if you have 1500 bananas, then to transfer them, the camel will need to make two forward trips. But in the second trip, you won't be utilizing camel's full capacity of carrying 1000 bananas. And that will reduce the output number. That's why try to have bananas in multiple of 1000. Let's name the source and destination as A and B and the intermediate point as P. Now the question arises, do we need another intermediate point Q? We must justify whether or not we need a second intermediate point. The purpose of an intermediate drop point is to make short trips so that you can transfer more number of bananas to the next point. With that intention, we would be happy to have another drop point. But at the same time, we should verify that it complies with the optimization step number 2, which says to have bananas in multiple of 1000, which in this case is possible. If the point P has 2000 bananas, then we can try to have 1000 bananas at point Q. But now, there won't be any necessity for another drop point, as we have covered all the multiples of 1000. From point P to point Q, the camel would make two forward trips and one backward trip and from point Q to the market the camel would make only a single forward trip. Now it's just a matter of simple mathematics. Consider the length of segments as X, Y and Z. In the segment AB the camel is traveling 5x kilometers so it consumes 5x bananas. In segment PQ it consumes 3y bananas and in segment QB it consumes Z number of bananas. Now, initially you had 3000 bananas, out of which 5x bananas are consumed by the camel, giving you 2000 at point P. So the value of x is 200. So the length of segment AP is 200 kilometers. The same way, 2000 minus 3y equals 1000. So the length of segment PQ would be 333.33 kilometers. But the variable Y also represents the number of bananas, which cannot be fractional. So to solve this issue, you can set the point Q at a distance of 333 kilometers from point P. In one forward trip, the camel would consume 333 bananas, which makes the number of bananas as 1001 at point Q. Now finally, the remaining distance to the market is 1000 minus 200 minus 333. That's equal to 467. 
So the camel can be loaded with 1000 bananas and it covers the remaining distance of 467 kilometers and it eats 467 bananas on the way. So the remaining 533 bananas are delivered to the market. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then, give a try to these brain twisters. Also check out quick interview riddles on my channel, Logically Yours.